right folks, allow me to introduce you to the latest addition from uh, Terex. In this case here is the Cayman Evil Cup, Terex Evil Cup Cayman 150. It uh, basically is a two speed, two, sorry, two shaft, slow speed shredder uh, designed for multi-purpose use. Uh, we've got two machines on display here today. We've got one with uh, shafts in it to produce, to shred waste and wood, tires, mattresses whereas this one is uh, kitted out with a set of shafts to be able to process C&D waste, to process um, uh, rubble with rebar and with, uh, with, with asphalt. The, so basically so the machine is powered by a Caterpillar 4.4 engine, drives the two shafts at about 30 RPM. Whenever she comes under pressure, she'll hunker down to about 14 RPM, delivering about 90,000 Newton meters of torque to be able to process the heavy steel. Uh, to generate a different piece size, we've got underneath the machine, we've got combs which can open in and out. These combs, the material will pass through a grid to size the material. So you can see the material discharging from the conveyor, we've got a 60mm aperture comb and that's producing a sub 60mm, 0 to 60mm product uh, on the, on the C&D rubble. We've got a magnetic chute underneath it, so as she processes the rubble, she'll break it all down and she gives a nice clean steel on the ground here. So she's very, very good at that. That's the advantage this machine has over a lot of the other crushers. A lot of the crushers, they can handle stone, no problem. They can handle C&D rubble, but it's what they can't handle is the heavy rebar that's in the, the contamination that's within it, uh, whereas this can handle it quite well, quite well and give you a clean product. Um, one of the main features of this machine is that uh, because it's a multi-purpose machine that's suited for uh, the, the contractor and he wants to do different materials or a small operator. He has multiple different stream waste coming in. He has wood, you can see here his wood, he's got rubble, he's got plaster board, he's got tires. This machine here can be easily changed configuration to suit the application. So we have at the back of the machine, the shafts are designed to be quick change. We remove the back of the hopper, quite easy for a few bolts and then four main pins, and the whole shaft assembly with the bearing assembly can disengage, slide out, fit it on the ground, put a new, new shaft assembly back into the chamber, and within less than one hour, you can be up and running within a new application. Or as the case may be, if the shafts wear down and you need to replace them with new shafts, you can have a second set of the same shafts go in within one hour, and you're up and running again. Um, the, um, one of the main features of the machine as well is the transport. Normally this machine here is, comes via tracks, but we can retrofit it with, you see another came in machine there, it has a hook lift frame, so you can transport on the via, via the back of a hook lift lorry. So that's basically it. The Cayman 150 in a nutshell, 